Hey, welcome back to another video. <clears throat> Doing a little update. And my monitor behind me broke down, which is a story in itself. So I can't really show you what I did in Sprint Layout. So what I've been doing is replicating the C64 KU motherboard. And for some reason you can't really see. Yeah, here you can see. So, and then I imported in KiCad. So if you look at KiCad here, there's possibility to do Gerber import. And um, what you can do is you can take all the Gerbers and import them. And then open Gerber files, open Excel and files. And then you save, I think you export the PCB new. So what you get is a file with a lot of uh, VS. And you can see this file is uh, just a lot of VS. And everything. So everything here I have drawn in PCB new. And uh, what I'm, why am I using e, uh, KiCad in the first place? Well, KiCad. I am doing a recreation of the schematics. So, and the way I'm doing that is by uh, basically just copying the original file here. As you can see, it's very close. And also a point I'm making here is that I'm trying to stay as close as possible. So I've already found some uh, differences, like down here in the um, time of day frequency generator you can see oops there's uh, the modification here though it's supposed to cut hair and put a 1k resistor so you can actually see that on the board somewhere and um, let's see if we can find it uh, just pause the video so if you look closely there's a cut here and um, that's what they needed to do in order to make it uh, possible to hack in or bodge in a resistor there so so and again why do I make a layout out of this when I already have all the Gerbers well there's also a second factor here I want to use DRC, which is uh, design rule checks. So when I have the schematics, I can uh, use the schematics to make a netlist, and then I can import a netlist here like this. So, and then if you do that, look, now you get names and everything. So that's what I'm doing. So, and also another thing, <laughs> a problem I had, I'm just talking randomly here, I hope you don't mind. All these vias, they were incorrect. They were like standard sizes, like 0.8 over 0.4 drill. So what I did, I opened this file in a text editor and just, just regular expressions to search and replace uh, the drill size <laughs> and hole and the uh, pad size to get it right. So also I'm making the holes. I'm not using any uh, standard footprints here. I'm making all my own. So I was thinking, okay, that's a bit much work, isn't it? Just because you want larger holes. Well, I'm not really making everything. I'm just making the holes and all the graphics around there. It's already drawn. So you can see the graphics around there is drawn. I, th I think I, I can uh, hit Alt 3 here. Yeah, there you go. So we have holes in the board here, so or cutouts, therefore we can't see the outline. So just ignore that. So yeah, here you can see the difference. Here you can see these are the ones that comes with uh, the Gerber import. And here is when I have imported my uh, footprint. And you can see the graphics around there. I, I didn't mind having the old graphics because this is drawn exactly on top of the board in sprint layout 
and therefore I get uh, everything to look as uh, good as I can. And as a bonus, I get some 3D uh, models here. So yeah, I don't really need that, but uh, I think it's fun anyway. <laughs> I think maybe those large cans over here looks cool. And then uh, together with TO220 and some polymer caps. And also, wow, the, uh, that one is cool. The main 5 volt, uh, uh, what is it called? It's an inductor actually. So yeah, I'm using too much time on this. But yeah, so making the layout again in KiCad makes me verify. So I got a lot of help from Afix Techno or known as, uh, so, and I thank you very much for, for that because uh, he found like, I think 15 or 20 mistakes I've made, like uh, or some missing trays or something, something very, it was not so easy to see, but he spotted it. And then I found some mistakes and now that I think everything is correct, it's not actually. And now the KiCad tool becomes very, very nice to have. And I can show you because I had this problem right here. So what I was doing is, um, so, so when I insert a footprint, I remove the one that comes from the auto generated, I move these pads and all the graphics. Like, uh, I take the via, delete, I take the graphics, delete, I take the whatever, and some, some whatever hole or something, and do that on both sides. And then I insert a footprint. And what happens then is that the net behind it will get a name, like, oops, like. Uh, for example, here it says Earth. There's something wrong with that, also, kind of maybe. Wait, a turn off uh, copper. No, it's correct. So, so let me insert C70 here, which is uh, looks like a resistor, but it's actually not. And you can see which direction it's supposed to be. And. Um, because it points, you have a rat's nest here, so that must be correct then. Okay, so we can go to the schematic. You can see. Okay, we can I can show you what's wrong. Okay. So here it says net C70, but here it says 9 volt unregulated. And this big area here is just a crystal. So this is down here this is the crystal i was thinking why okay the camera is dangling a bit there so why <laughs> why is this happening why do i have a nine volt unreg well you can see i have taken this um zone too far out and i don't think i can uh, draw it so what i will do is i will just delete this and um, also the the line around it that comes from the import also and then i will draw the uh, let's see if i can do this in real time actually i should uh, also do it in the layout because i will release those files so this is also this is also the reason why i'm not releasing the files yet because i keep finding stuff like this so now it does no longer say uh, 9 volt unreg here, which is good. Um, it just says net, net C70 pad. So I will quickly just insert the zone. I think this is a uh, zone. Okay, so it turned out to be very easy as <laughs> so I have to edit this video again. I thought I was just going to take one take and go, but I had so much trouble. So basically, if I go to layout, I can show you what I had to do was to actually import this footprint, such that I get something on the footprint, something connected to that footprint, and then make the outline. So yeah, now I can't click it because there you go. 
then it will fill. <laughs> so yeah. And now it will touch here in there. Yeah, because this one is not filled, so <laughs> we're on the same net. But anyway, that's what I do. So I'll fix that. I don't want to pose any more problems on this video. So I have imported R26, 52, and 53. They are all going up here. Just going to make some satisfying edits on the end here. I also realized my screen was a bit bright, so it was overexposed. And then just mark this, delete. Oops. Hopefully nothing is gone. There you go, 26, let's get 26. It's down here, press M. That's why I was supposed to film like this. M. R. To rotate. Then release. CVC supposed to be there. Yeah, there you can see it. VC up here. It was there in there. So that's correct. Take the next one. 52 M. Let's see, 52. Okay. I can show you what happens if you do, if you insert them incorrectly, or if something is different on the board than on the schematics. See, now I get a line here, a rat's nest. So that tells me something is not connected as it's supposed to. So now I'll just back again. Let's get up this one. Twenty six. So that's here. No idea why I have to do that twice. Fifty three. Yeah, <laughs> I forgot to <coughs> remove my selection. Let's see. Oh, uh, yeah. I didn't show a rat's nest for some reason. Hold on, let's try it again. Yeah, there's a rat's nest there, so it's okay. So there you go. I can uh, show it. There you go. Oops. There they are. With the correct holes and everything. So. Not sure what I'm going to do with this video. I'm certainly going to edit it. So, so yes, yeah, so I have the board. It's all done. It's print layout. I was thinking of doing PCBs, but uh, I'm afraid I will lose interest if I start ordering stuff that won't work anyway. So it's just a lot of work and then you find mistakes and oh my god. So now I want to finish this first. I'm going to get my screen fixed. I'm also getting a new screen anyway, so I can continue uh, to edit the footprint of the uh, <laughs> or the layout of this print layout. So everything in due time. I just edit a little bit every day and then um, in the end it gets confirmed and everything. So I so just want to say thank you very much for watching. See you another time. Bye bye.